the God that he led me. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. God bless you. Amen. Well, today, uh, I have something uh, interesting to speak about. Uh, you know, we we uh, come before God and we ask God to move in our lives in a certain way. And, you know, it's just us, I guess, but sometimes we, we, we seem to put God in a box. Oh, yes. And how, how many of you find yourself doing that? Yes. Well, I have a novel idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let God do it His way. Amen. Amen. Uh, and I take my scripture from 2 Kings uh, ver uh, chapter 5, verse 10 and 11. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times. And thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth, and went away, and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me, and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. You know, so often we miss out on what God wants to do in our life, because we have this thing in our mind that he should act in a certain way. Yeah. And we conjure up something that this is the way God should heal me, should deliver me, and should prosper me. And what happens is that we sometimes seem to think of only the spectacular and the sensational with God, and if it doesn't happen just that way, we get discouraged, we start to slip in our faith, we start trying to help God with the arm of the flesh, and you know what? We miss the blessing yeah. that He wants to give to us. You know, that's, that's exactly what Naaman did. He went to Elijah, and he was looking for Elijah to do something and to heal him, and he was expecting him to do it in a certain way. And when it didn't appear as though it was going to happen that way, it said, Naaman went away in a rage. Yes. And you know, all Elijah did, he did just something very simple. He said, just go down to the Jordan River and dip in it seven times. How easy could that be? Could Naaman do that? Certainly <laughs> Naaman could do that. But it didn't fit into what Naaman thought was the way that God should do it and how he should heal him. He thought Elijah should wave his hand over him. Some spectacular thing was going to happen. God would come down and look, I'm a big ruler. You know, and, and he expected a demonstration. And when he didn't see it, Naaman stormed away. And you know what? Naaman would have missed That's an incredible right. blessing from God if that was the end of the story. As you all know, I've said this before, Naaman is the only one in the Old Testament that ever got healed of leprosy. That's right. Check it out. He's yes. the only one that ever got healed of leprosy. And all that happened in the end was a servant came up to him and said, Master, look, why don't you just try? <laughs> why don't you just try what Elijah's telling you to do? Go down and dip in the Jordan. Well, like all of us, Naaman had to humble himself. Ruler as he was, he had to humble himself and do exactly what God, through Elijah, was telling him to do. You know, we're no different than Naaman. And it's human nature, I believe, that looks for the sensational, looks for the demonstration. But we have to stop relying on our feelings. We have to stop relying on our emotions. When you deal with God, you deal in the spirit realm. Amen. All right? All you have to remember is God is true to his word. 
Yes, he That's is. it. Yes, God he is. is true to his word. Don't let your ideas of how God should work in your life rob you of your healing, of your deliverance, of your prosperity. Just trust him and let him do it his way. And he, accordingly, will work mightily in you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Praise God. Why don't we stand and continue in our time of praise and worship? Amen. Don't we serve a mighty God? Don't we serve a strong God? Don't we serve a powerful God? Don't we serve an awesome God? There is a